hello guys welcome back so this will be the third video of docker tomcat so in the first video we have discussed how to pull image from docker hub and we have pulled a tomcat image from docker hub and in the second video we have discussed how to deploy a sample var file in your docker tomcat and this will be the third video how to save your whole session of how the changes whatever you have done to your tomcat container and save the container to an image so that whenever you actually restart your machine you can simply run the image and work with what you have done previously so in my case i am going to go with the docker images docker images so you can see i have two images so using this image we have started the container and uh, in the previous video we have started this container and uh, deployed a sample wire file to this container so we'll just see the container as well docker containers ls so this is the container i just wanted to show you that i have copied few files in docker containers so we'll just save the session and i'll make you easy understanding so docker I, I just wanted to go into the docker i just want to open the docker workspace docker tomcat workspace sorry docker container and -E container and uh, ec will execute the file it and this will be our container id copy and bash that's it so that means we are in the tomcat now you can see these are the folders and files so in the user local tomcat so mostly we will actually deploy files in web apps so we'll just see whether my sam dot web file is available in this web apps or not so just cd space web apps and ls so here you can see i have copied a sample wire file so i'm just i just wanted to save this whole session okay so i'll just come out of my tomcat now i'll just press ctrl d so how to do that we need to com commit this whole session okay so docker commit and uh, this will be my container id so when we commit container that will be saved as an image in images okay so you can see here in my tomcat images sorry docker images i only have two tomcat images one is jdk8 and latest okay so docker commit and space give your any custom name like uh, custom tomcat okay and you can even specify a tag like a um, one okay so i'll just run it so invalid references name must be lowercase okay so it says it must be lowercase so that's it so this is tomcat custom tomcat and tag will be one so i'll just check my images whether this session has been saved or not so yes so custom tomcat and and the tag will be one it has been created 11 seconds ago with the mb of 507 mb now what i'll do is i will stop my container uh, docker containers okay so i'll just kill this so and we'll see what happens docker kill and my docker uh, container id now docker containers ls sorry Okay, docker container ls so you can see there are no containers 192.168 and just see whether this port is working sorry so because we have closed the port 
so we have actually killed the tomcat container right that so that is the reason this is not working so we'll actually again start this so to simply start that i'm not going to do the whole process of this again because we have already done this in our second video so i'll just start my image custom tomcat and we'll see what happens so docker images so custom tomcat right so docker run on what port port will be 9292 colon this will by default 8080 and just copy the image id paste it and run it So we have started so I'll just go to my browser and I'll just go for 19292 so what the custom will be 9292 which I have mentioned and the sample bar that's it guys so that's it guys thank you for watching